five, Luke Allen, six, Joel Johnson, seven, Daniel Paulus, and eight, Ollie Form, nine, Dennis Holly, ten, Ben Mackey, eleven, James Potter. And next up this evening are twelve, Kyle Connolly, fourteen, Oliver Hawkins, fifteen, Wendy. Why did you leave it so late? Well, I was still going. Wanted to see a couple of uh, great goals. Yeah, no, but I think uh, we had to be patient today. You know, you've got to give Hemel credit. I think uh, they came and made it hard for us and uh, made us defend at times and uh, frustrated us as well. You know, so uh, I think um, you know we had patience and in the end uh, our quality told. I think and uh, a really big compliment from their manager to say we're the best team that, he, that he's seen this year. So that's that's great for us. You know, it's a compliment to the players. I'd have to kind of flip it around and say that Hemel were up there with one of the best sides that I've mm. seen. Slightly better than than Stortford. No disrespect to Stortford mm. who actually beat us. Yeah, that's right. Um, I think. Uh, We've come on a lot in the last couple of weeks as far as um, having, uh, having a bit of confidence and um, you know, scoring some goals and keeping clean sheets. And I think that can uh, have a major impact on, on the squad. And you know, It's going to be a squad game uh, this year, as, as proven in the last couple of weeks. JJ coming on, scoring a couple of goals. Shamir coming on and, and scoring. And Ben Swallow making a difference when he came on. So, no, really pleased. Let's just talk about the two goals. They were pretty much carbon copies of each other. Mm. How did it, how, why did it take nearly 85 minutes for, for the Hulk to kind of figure out how to make the runs down the wing and get it into the six yard box? Well, I think you've got to give them credit for that. I think um, the right back played as a right winger for, for 60 minutes. And it was really hard to deal with. And, uh, you know, physically they were strong. And, uh, you know, they threw caution to the wind a lot of the time, even at nil-nil. And, uh, you know, we found ourselves sort of having a lot of possession, but in, a, in an area where we couldn't really hurt them. But I felt as the game opened up, the longer the game went on, we, we could hurt them. And obviously people watching this would have been at the game, may not have heard our interview earlier. I'll ask you the question I did earlier. Perry Ryan obviously mm. didn't play tonight. We know that he's still injured with his hamstring. Mm. How long is Perry likely to be out for? Well, he should be fit for next Tuesday, Hampshire Cup match, uh, obviously in California. So uh, hopefully Perry will be back then and uh, you know get some fitness in on Saturday, uh, do some running and then he'll be available for Tuesday. And let's talk about Basingstoke. Of course, they've been in the news with news about, about Soccer AM, about Ron Bino. 
of course, the circus comes to town for the playoffs on Saturday. Let's get a word about the uh, Soccer Round Stadium team. Yeah, um, I don't really want to comment about the off-field things. I just worry about what goes on on the pitch. And they're a good side. Jason's gone playing some good football. And I think, uh, you know, we'll have to respect them. It'll be a tough game. They play a formation that's hard to play against at times. And, uh, you know, I think uh, we've always had good games against them or Hampshire Cup final and, and here. We've always been reasonably close games, so I think uh, you know we're going to a confident and so are they. I think we've gone up to six tonight, and uh, and they're in and around obviously the top as well. So uh, you know, local derby, Hampshire derby. So if all the fans can get down and support us. It'll be a great day, hopefully. Is revenge going to be on anyone's mind? Of course, against Basingstoke, having seen what they did to us in the Hampshire Cup final. I don't think so. I think uh, we take every game as it comes, and uh, every game's obviously uh, different. And uh, you know, there's only probably. Six or seven of the lads that will be starting that, that were here playing in that game last year anyway. Well, Lee, once again on behalf of Hawks FC Online, Hawks FM, congratulations. It was a late, great result. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers.